Tasks in VS Code let you easily run scripts or other build tools from the editor. You can also configure VS Code to scan the output of these tasks so that it can then report errors directly within your code. Now, there are two types of tasks that you should be aware of. There's automatically detected tasks, which don't require any configuration, and then there's tasks you actually have to go and configure. Let's take a look at the automatic ones first. Now, by default, VS Code will actually look at the structure of your workspace and try to generate tasks for you. So for example, we have a package.json file and a tsconfig. So if we go and we open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p on Mac, and then we say run task, you can see that VS Code has actually generated some automatic tasks we can run. So there's ones for TypeScript and NPM, for example. If we go into the NPM folder, we have things like NPM build. These are all just coming from the script section of the package.json, so we can run any of those scripts very easily using this interface. Or you could go to TypeScript and run a TSE build here for our TS config. So those, again, are automatically configured. No configuration is required. When we actually go and rerun the task, VS Code will actually print the output directly down here in the uh, terminal. So pretty cool. Now, you can also go and configure tasks for more advanced use cases. So let's open the command palette again and say configure task. And VS Code will let you customize any of the existing tasks that we've set up or that it automatically created. But let's actually go and create an entirely new task here. So we're going to say create tasks from template. We don't want to use any of these templates here. So let's actually go and create an entirely new simple uh, task. And this ta the tasks are defined under a uh, task file stored under the .vs code folder at the top level of your workspace. So this is defining our tasks. Here you can see that what we have done is created a uh, top level task called echo. It is a shell task, which means it's going to be run in the uh, integrated terminal. And then it's also going to run this command echo. And now if we go back and we say run task again, you'll see that there is a new echo task being defined. If we go and we just click on this, it's asking us, do we want to scan the output to report any errors? And in this case, we don't, do not since it's just echoing text. And sure enough, when we go and rerun this, it has printed the result of the task in the terminal down here. So that's a quick look at tasks in VS Code. As I mentioned, you can use them to run any command line tool or build system, and then also set up problem matching so that any errors that are reported actually show up in the editor instead of just being printed in the console. They're super powerful, so you should definitely check them out.